<laughs> she just spoke. She said another home, but she meant. Amen. So pray that somebody come by. Yeah. Amen. I know how you feel there. Amen. Oh, they're like Sandra. <laughs> I'm following your path. I want them to go. Amen. We got kittens that need to go too. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just want to say I love the Lord and I thank you for what you did for me this morning. Amen. God's good, isn't he? Amen. Johnny. I just I want to thank God for the moving of the Holy Spirit this morning. You know, I was thinking about the man that sat by the pool all those years, thirty eight years I believe. Yeah. When the stirring of the water started, that was the time to get in. If they wanted to whatever they wanted from the Lord. You know, when the Holy Spirit's moving like that, we need to follow the Spirit, move with the Spirit. You know, because I found out that water that sits too long will get stagnated. I don't want to be stagnated. So we need to obey the Spirit and just do what God would have us to. We might not please everybody, but if we please God, we've done the right thing. Yes, amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap. This morning's message was uh, more on the case of being obedient, amen, to get the ministry, but God ministered here in the sanctuary to the people, amen. Just like Brother Johnny said, you know, when stirring of God's spirit begins, we need to move, amen. We need not sit back on God, we need to move, amen, and most of all, we need to draw close to Him, amen. When we draw close to him, his word says that he'll draw nigh unto us. Amen. amen. And you can't defeat the enemy within yourself. Amen. amen. If you're under attack, amen, the greatest and the best thing you can do is to humble yourself unto God. Amen. And ask God to take over. Amen. The Bible says obedience is greater than sacrifice. Amen. Our works can't get us to heaven, but our faith can. Amen. amen. So let's trust God. Amen. Put our faith in Him. Amen. And just move when He says to move. Amen. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Amen. I talked to Judy when we left here, and she was in the mosque and had just left mom and stuff. And I said, Judy, I said, 
put mom on these uh, uh, free to treatment. She gets all jittery, so they had to put her on the razapam to keep her settled down. And, and now she's at the point where she's just laying there. Uh, Friday night, they found her. She had pulled her oxygen off, and uh, she was just <coughs> blue. But they got to her in time, thank God. They got to her in time. They got her oxygen on her and, and got her back away a little bit. But Judy said today that she just lays there and she don't want to eat. And when I go up there, I force her. I don't know. I keep saying, Mama, take one more bite, one more bite, and she, she'll, she'll do it. But nobody else is trying to so help her and show her and talk to her. And no more Amen. So remember Sister Kent, amen. And pray for her health issues, amen. That God will keep her on the medicine that he would have her on, and that, that which he would have her to take off take her off, that he would take her off of it. Amen? He's able to take care of her. Amen? So just remember her. Lift her up. Amen? And just pray that the other family members will begin to assist her better. Amen? Anybody else? I want to praise the Lord and thank Him for uh, me and Bobby's trying to find us another place. I think we found this place on Camargo Road. Uh, it's a double wide with seven acres. So y'all be praying about that. that the Lord Amen. Amen. We'll be in that, and that we'll get it in Amen. Amen. So pray about this home situation. Amen. Pray God's will be done there. Amen. Yes. Anybody else? You know, you know Brother Derek, what long ago, we saw a miracle here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we seen people get
strength in our God right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. We'll praise and glorify you, God. We thank you for all that which you're doing, God. We we'll give you praise and glory and honor, God. Touch and many, God, and manifest and healing to her body, God, and strengthen her, God, and Harold, God. We just lift them up right now, God. God, we just pray, God, that you just continue to show yourself. God, we just pray, God, that you show give these kids a good home, God. And God, we just praise you and magnify you for it all. Lord, we thank you for all that which you're doing, God. We ask you, God, to just touch us and as he goes in for the Lord. God, this other young lady, God, touch her too, God. And God, take God and help her, God, to... And she goes through this surgery, God, to be successful, God, and just relieve her from all the pain, God. We'll praise you and glorify you, God, and we know, God, that you're able to do all these things, God. We lift up each and every prayer request unto you tonight. God, we ask you, God, especially to touch Sister Wanda, make preaching and ministering easy to her tonight, God. God, touch your voice and make singing easy for her, God, and we'll praise and glorify you. God, most of all, we pray, God, that your spirit would have